Hi guys, how you all doing? Thank you so much for joining me here. So today's video reaction is by George Von Der B and it says DNA saves the day. Guys, let's take a look. Okay, Miss Ghost is it? Yes ma'am. You brought this case before the court. What's going on? Well, we have a one-year-old daughter named Alexis Ray. Um, we're not together anymore. We were married for two years. We divorced because I like women. And so... Um, That's one point. I want to put him on child support. Uh, he don't do nothing for his little girl. So that's basically. Okay. Since so you this. all divorced, have a one year old. Yes, ma'am. And you want him to pay child support. Yes, ma'am. Okay, seems pretty straightforward. Sir, what do you have to say about that? Oh. Your Honor, I, I don't have a problem paying child support, you know, but, um, you know, she did leave me for, for somebody else. She cheated on me throughout our relationship and okay. things like that. That's you another know. court that has nothing to do with me. Continue. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, you know, you know, I only make $16 an hour, ma'am, as a warehouse supervisor. So it's really hard to, to make the ends meet. So, um, I don't know how much I can give, you know, it's expensive to live where we live, you know. Well, according to the documents you provided, you made eighteen dollars an hour, not sixteen. Oh. Like. Oh. So He's you also don't know how much you made. No, ma'am. I, I was I was mistaken. I, I I apologize. Oh, okay. But you you get a check every month, right? Yes, ma'am. Y'all made the perfect couple. You're the liar. She's the cheater. <laughs> Well, that's yes, semantics right there. That's the that's the particulars. We I didn't I didn't I, he lied. I didn't cheat on him. Okay. Well, we already established that he lies. I mean, oh yeah. He, see, I told you he was a liar. Well, I mean, you didn't even have to tell me that. He you knew that. Right? I don't know right. how you so, do it every you know, single time. What you, you know, I, I, what I don't need you all to do is address each other. You all yes, will address me. There's obviously a reason that you're no longer married. Yes, okay. Because he's a cheater. No, because you guys were the perfect storm. Is why you guys are not <laughs> married anymore. Now, in terms of health care, who pays it for this child? He pays it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Well, he is, he He's on, she's on his Medicaid. Okay, so, wait a minute. The child lives with you, but. Yes, ma'am. And the child is on Medicaid. Yes, ma'am. So, are you paying Medicaid yet? Or you, you haven't started paying them? Um, yes, ma'am. I am paying for the child's health care right now. Okay, so you guys understand that Medicaid is not health insurance, right? Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay, so that is health, it's, it's not health insurance per se in terms of a mm -hmm. private carrier, but for the child, that particular service is through the state of Texas. So that money does have to be repaid to the state. Ooh. You're not paying health uh, insurance to her. You understand it, right? Or you didn't understand. I, I understand. I, I understand that now, ma'am. You understand it now, okay? Yes, so, you understand that Medicaid has to be reimbursed to the state, and you're going to have to start paying child support at eighteen dollars an hour. You understand that, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You you looked real depressed just then. I mean, did I say something wrong? No, ma'am. It's just I just know how much it's going to hurt, ma'am. That's all. You know how much is what is going to hurt you? The the child support hit. And you do understand that, Mom, are you working? No, ma'am. Why aren't you working? Uh -huh. Why aren't you working? I mean, I just don't work. You don't want to work, but you think that he is solely responsible for taking care of your one-year-old? Well, she now, lives granted, with me, so I take me, I was talking, thanks. If she does live with you, yes, she does live with you, and he will be obligated to pay child support because of that, but you also need to be working too. Yes, ma'am. So, you know, are you gonna come back in here next time with some proof of looking for a job? Oh, yes, ma'am, I will, and I'm currently pregnant again. Um, so we might Your Honor, that, that is Ooh. not my child. Oh, I w that was my next. You don't have means of income, and you're busy making babies, and you told the judge that you're into women, now you're pregnant. Does it even make sense? Question, but... I, I ain't touched her in like uh, almost a year. Okay, okay, that is good information to know. <laughs> Wouldn't that touch has nothing to do with this because a child that is not born is not a child within existence at this moment, so therefore child support can be determined anyway. We'll and be back though. You'll be back for we'll be that back. child. Okay, well when you return, we will discuss that child. Would you? 
We back with you. Well, sir, just make sure you know. I just want you to know that you do have the right to get a DNA test. Oh, really? Yes, you have a right to get a DNA I test guess. on that child that she's pregnant with, just to make sure if she does bring you back, that if it's not your child, you won't be placed on. The government needs to legalize. DNA bait. The reason women are beginning to take advantage of legal system, they are using child support as a means of income. Obviously, this child support is paying bills. That's why they keep using it as a means of income. <laughs> child support. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you understand that? Where's your child? So don't worry about that. Ma'am, ma'am. I don't need you addressing him, okay? Please, and as of right now, we don't know whose child it is. In the well, when I say we, I'm speaking about the court. We don't know who child, whose child it is because you're currently preg pregnant. He hasn't ha had an opportunity to do a DNA test. Okay. You get yes, pregnant from another girl. All right. Sir, I do not need that extra yes. sidebar over there. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. All right. So based <laughs> on $18 an hour, what is your work week? And, and truthfully, how many hours do you work a week? Roughly 60 hours a week, ma'am. Okay, you told the truth about that. I just have to verify everything that you say from now on. So, $18 an hour at 60 hours per week. That brings your gross to about $2,160. Your net of $1,903.58. Now, in terms of health insurance, at another time, you do have the right to get some sort of health insurance plan for your child. However, mm -hmm. for today, you're going to have to reimburse that money to Medicaid. So what I'll have to do is I'm going to take 9% of your gross, that $2,160 amount, 9% of that is $194.40. Now, if you are able to find some health insurance that's cheaper than that, that would be great. You have the right to do that. And when that does happen, you can come back to court and we can make the change, okay? But as of today, that's the number. Then you're going to pay, your child support obligation is $380.72. But mom, sir, asked that you pay back pay since the day that the child was born. You know what that mm -hmm. means, right? No, ma'am. So pretty much that $380 amount, you're going to be responsible for paying mm -hmm. that for the past 12 months. Yeah. You're looking real confused right now. That's not not confused, concerned, ma'am. That's yes. all. Well, okay, so up until <laughs> this point, you have not been giving her any type of financial support for your child. Isn't that correct? Ooh. It's a I yes mean, or no. It, I, I have, ma'am, but I can't prove it because it's always been cash. It's, I've always. So the answer is no. Yes, ma'am. Because if, you, if you've given her cash, that's a gift, okay? Yes, ma'am. So Ooh. the back pay that she requested for the past 12 months would bring your back pay is also known as retroactive child support six thousand six hundred dollars okay and that's i'm going to make that payable at one hundred dollars per month so your new child support mm -hmm. obligation is going to be four hundred and eighty dollars and seventy two cents a month oh you understand huge. that yes ma'am all right do you all have any further any further questions or anything any concerns you want to bring to the attention of the court yeah ma'am Anything? No, ma'am. Okay. Well, if there's nothing further, you all are dismissed. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Your Honor. Silence. Hi, guys. We've come to the educational portion of our show. I just wanted to go over what you just watched in the ghost case. One child involved in this case, mom is currently pregnant. Dad hasn't paid any money to mom for the care of the child. Does he have to pay child support? And does he have to pay her back pay? Well, in this particular case, yes, that is very much so what he had to do. So you heard testimony that mom was currently pregnant. Well, that's irrelevant to a current court case when a child is not born. A child can, that's not born at the time cannot be calculated in terms of child support currently. In addition to that, because dad had not given mom any child support previously while the one-year-old child has been here pretty much, dad had to reimburse mom for retroactive child support for the last 12 months. Well, the only reason why mom was able to receive it is because she actually requested it within her, her court petition. 
Guys, if you do not ask for it, you do not receive it. So just make sure when you go to court that you everything that you are wanting the court to know about your case and that you are seeking as relief, be sure to ask for it. Who goes about having kids without any means of income in this day and age? She's obviously out to rip him off. If I were him, I would make sure I get DNA this before paying any child support. The way Sam should start holding this woman accountable, remove child support from, from the equation. You see how these women will humble themselves, they'll stop giving beds randomly. They feel that child support is paying, that's why they go about having kids carelessly because they know in the end they will get child support. This is unfortunate. This is more reason why you should be careful of who you have kids with. Don't just go about pregnancy women up and down. It will tell on you eventually and even on the kids by the time they start growing up. I hope you're able to learn one or two from this episode like I have. See you on the next one.